Hello everybody, this is Detecting Daddy from Boston, Massachusetts. What you're looking at right now is the rest of the silver that I have to still go through. Now, in this bin here, there are still some pieces down in here. I got the large pieces sitting on top of that, but I'm going to work on some of the silverware that's in here, and some of maybe the candlesticks and things like that. And additionally, I'm going to show you what we had done uh, in the last video real quick, and also show you what else I completed. Okay, so here they are. This is the first piece I did, which was a spoon. And on this method here, what I did was lined the container I had with tin foil and sprinkled in baking soda and then added hot boiling water and just let this sit in there for, I don't know, two, three minutes total with a little bit of light scrubbing from just the irregular uh, scrub brush. Nothing too abrasive. This came out wonderful. This second method here, what I did was I coated this with the baking soda and put this in the boiling water with the tin foil at the bottom. And again, this came out really well. There's still some uh, small spots in there I still have to get off that I haven't. The third method I did is I wrapped this in the tin foil and put it in the water with the uh, baking soda that was boiling. So, as you can see, uh, the first two methods definitely worked a lot better, I think, than the third. And again, if anybody knows if I did something wrong on that uh, method, please let me know because I would like to know more. And if anybody has any idea what these really dark splotches are on here, I have no clue. I have not redone this again, so I might do that later on in this video. I'm not sure. But for right now, I'm going to show you what else I did uh, after that video. Okay, and here's everything else I did after the last video. And these here I just wanted to get done because these pieces here, if you look, have a really nice rose pattern on the bottom. And I want to get as many of those done as possible. And that is all of those that I have right here. And again, this is all just silver plated, nothing special. This here is, of course, a uh, for salads. Show you that real quickly. Right there. And then we got some other various spoons, a nice butter knife. Some of these came out really great. Unfortunately, the lighting in here was not the greatest at all uh, as it got darker. Uh, so I want doing these in the daylight now because when I was taking pictures and stuff like this last time, they were yellow. Well, this is enough talking for me. Let me go ahead and get into the um, stuff that needs to be cleaned today. So let's get to it. Okay, everybody got a nice clean bucket here with the tin foil and the baking soda. We're going to add the water. The water is in, let's look at the pieces I'm about to put into this. Now I didn't research this online, these ones here have not been touched yet, so as you can see they already look really good, but the knives, not so good. I'm going to put all of these in at once and see what happens. I don't know if that's recommended or not, uh, if it's not, definitely let me know down in the comments below and whether I should redo them afterwards or not. But we're going to put them in we'll be right back. Okay, all eight pieces are in there, we're going to let them soak for a good five minutes and see what we get. Okay, I just flipped over each piece, and uh, I'm going to let them sit there for another two and a half minutes, and then I'm going to take them off, wipe them down, and see what we got. While I'm doing this here, as I have a lot of silver, I'm going to show you exactly what's going on. That's still got almost two minutes. But I have the next set right here, all set up, ready to go, another eight pieces. And over here, another pot of water waiting to boil. Not sure if you can see it on the camera, but I can definitely see it with my eyes. You can look at the tinfoil that's definitely darkening, removing a lot of that tarnish. So I think most of these, if not all of them, will come out really good. Well, here they go. All cleaned up and shined up. And uh, the knife that, as you noticed earlier, I think it was this one here, was really black. Came out really nicely. Um, there's still a little bit of tarnish there on the end. You can see it, or maybe that's just shadow. No, it's a little bit of tarnish. And I can always do these again later. I uh, just get those final little details. But the spoons, of course, they were already in great shape, so I wasn't too worried about those. It was mainly that knife. And this right here, I did notice if you look right in that little crevice right in here, there's just a little bit still in there. Other than that, it came out really good. So some of these here I might do one more time just to shine them up just a little bit more. Other than that, not too bad. Well, I'm not going to show you each and every single piece of silver that I uh, do with this method. This is probably going to be it. I might show a final wrap-up series uh, of all the silver or maybe one video on the bigger pieces. But for now, that's going to be it. Until next time, happy hunting.